Next up, we gotta get rid of this dog. And the way we do that is using the filter function. So filter humans, and we're gonna take a list in of people, say peeps.filters. We use the native array filter method for now. And we'll pass in a function called filter human. So notice a very common thing to do is plural for the array and singular for the actual predicate function that does the work. If you wanna write it in line here, we can just say peep and peep dot type equals human, right? But I'm gonna keep that into its own function here. Simply just refactor that out into filter human. Peep. Place that actual function in there. So now we can actually filter those humans out. So let's go ahead and create our parse function here. Pass in our peeps string, whatever it is, our JSON string. And if we parse the people, and we'll go ahead and test it out real quick again, we get our object, right? So far, so good. We want to get the dog out. So we've got to wrap the parse people here with the filter humans. So whatever parse people returns is an array. We'll go ahead and shove that inside of filter humans, and that'll filter the dog out. Now, We've actually got the humans only in the list.